Except the bay where we stay And you know what we best at Marcus Hall Studio One That's the best set Number one show in the game At your best bet We giving y'all quality Y'all better trust that It's for us, by us Students make the end Yeah Alright Yeah, take that Ha! Suck it! Woo! Are you still playing on the game? Gosh, not this again. Dude, I've been gone for five hours and you're still on the game. Look, I just need to beat this guy, okay? He's, he's very difficult to beat. Dude, you can't keep living your life like this. You can't keep playing games all the time and eating junk food. I'm not eating junk food, okay? Jeez. You're not eating junk food? No. Dude, you can do so much stuff. You can go out and socialize. You can go out with friends. Maybe even hit the gym. Oh my gosh, the gym? Look, it's probably too expensive. I'm gonna be broke afterwards. Expensive? Broke? You can go to the Mushroom Wellness Center. It's free for students and it's practically open all day. Yeah, well, thanks for the offer, but I I'm gonna pass. I mean, meta my metabolism's pretty good. I mean, I think I'm, I think I'm pretty fit. You, know? you think you're fit? Yeah. <laughs> There's only one way to find out. What do you mean by that? Arm wrestle. Oh. Uh, Why not? I don't know, because I'd kick your ass. <laughs> Let's see about that. All right. All right. Well, remember, this is what you wanted. All right. Three, two, one. <sighs> oh, jeez. Hey. Told you so. Hey, that's not fair. Look, I'm right-handed, okay? So, just saying, like... Well, go sign up for the gym while you're at it. Fine, I will. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to another episode of Under SF Debate. I hope you enjoyed our show so far. Last week we talked about culture at SFSU. Check it out if you have not seen it on BeccaMedia.net and BeccaMedia on our YouTube channel. But today our show is going to be all about sports. That's right, Bay Area is a hot spot for sports fanatics and a place for Major League Sports. We have the San Francisco Giants and the Oakland A's hitting home runs and the Golden State Warriors splashing deep threes at Chase Center. At, at the Levi Stadium, 49ers stopping the best offense. Down in San Jose, the Sharks lighting it up at SAP Center, while the ground shakes at PayPal Park as the earthquake score a goal. But right here in our very own school, SFSU, we have very competitive men and women's sports teams. Baseball, volleyball, basketball, soccer, and many others. The Gators have been hustling through the past season, and they are putting behind the long shutdowns caused by the pandemic. But now they are back and ready to show their competitors just who's the boss. In our Becca department, we also have a class all about sports and production. Becca 651 is a class that puts you in different positions of broadcasting, and it allows you to produce, direct, record and comment into live sports events here at SFSU. If you're interested in sports and its production process, this class is a perfect fit for you. Next up, I'm going to show you some of the footage from that sports production class and we have other things planned out as well. I'll be hitting the streets to ask you what your favorite Bay Area teams are. And I will be interviewing an athlete from our men's basketball team and playing around a hoops with him at our courts here on campus. Stay tuned until the end because we have your favorite sketch comedy back, Roommate from Hell. And we have so much more coming up next on Under SF Debate. My name is Val Sakovich, and I've uh, been teaching here for about 44 years. Uh, what we do in the sports class is to try and get practical experience for the students so that they can actually do a game and not talk about doing a game. Curry, Clay, and Jim Yeah. So, um, what do you think? I mean, it's crazy how much time they have. Over. I'm a, I'm Anthony Lucas. I'm in the live sports production class for Becca. I did replay once. That was one of my favorite things I did. Um, and then I did CG a few times, and I did um, uh, utilities, which is like setting up the cameras and stuff, and mm -hmm. just being there to like help the 
other people who are like actually doing other positions. I'm uh, Julian Riga. I'm taking uh, Becca 651 here, live sports production. And I'm Anthony. Uh, Becca 651 as well. Well, uh, sorry, I've done a little bit of everything, but uh, mainly I've worked in a uh, camera and oh I have uh, directed uh, the last couple of uh, um, games with uh, volleyball and soccer. How was your experience commentating for a game? Obviously, we're not the professionals that we see on TV or listen on TV, so I definitely feel like I can improve on that if I want to pursue that as a career. But I don't think I would want to do it as a career. That's a lot of talking. Mm. Would you so? What would you suggest to a student who wants to take this class in the future? I mean, just have an interest in some kind of studio slash field studio or field production type of things, and also be interested in sports. Because if you're not interested in sports, then you got you're not gonna have fun in this class because it's basically revolved around sports. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yo, what is up, everybody? I'm AJ. This is Street Talk, and we're going to ask you guys what your favorite sports teams are. What teams do you root for in the Bay Area? Uh, I actually don't go for teams in the Bay Area. I'm from L.A., so I go for, like, the Dodgers and Lakers. Oh, my God. No way. <laughs> you, you go out here, and you're going to say them? Yeah, I do. <laughs> uh, I don't watch a lot of sports, so probably Warriors. Warriors? Who's your favorite player on the Warriors? I like Green. Green? That's a that's a good answer. Green or Looney? Oh, okay, role players. I like that. Yeah. Niners and the Warriors and the Giants. The Niners? Yeah. Warriors are better. You're crazy. No, I'm not. You're crazy. Uh, at least we're going to make it out to the NFC. Are you sure? Yes, sir. No quarterback? We're, oh, we oh, made, oh, we next question! Uh, the Giants and the 49ers. 49ers? The Giants? All right. The 49ers? I mean... What's the other option? The one that's in Vegas? Ding. Okay. My Raiders. It's okay. Raiders are in Oakland in my heart. Favorite Bay Area teams are the Golden State Warriors, number one. You got the San Francisco 49ers. Everybody. Everybody's saying. Giants. That's all the Bay Area teams. I grew up in the Bay Area. Those are my favorite teams. I'm loyal to them. No matter if we're losing, we're winning no matter what. So. That was a nice monologue, but yeah. I'm a Bay Area. I was born in the Bay, too. Okay. And I'm a Raider fan. Raider fan? Right. Die hard Raider fan. There you go. That's what's up. How do you feel about that? That's that's cool too. Uh, you gotta go with the Warriors, you gotta right. go with the Niners, and you gotta go with the Giants. Everybody says Niners. I'm tired of it. That says the Raiders suck. But you know what? Right, honestly though, the Raiders make my week every week because they lose every week. So yeah. I kinda like the Raiders now. Next uh when's the last sporting event you went to? I think it was the Warriors versus I think it was Heat. Who won that game? Warriors. I went to the, the Niners game where Rob Freddy started. Or he didn't start, but oh, like, you went to that game? Yeah, I went to the game. So you seen yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo break his foot? Yeah, honestly, he didn't break his foot, but like, it's, it's a really bad ankle sprain. Okay, that's fine. They won too, right? Yes, sir. What was the score? 33 to, what is it, 13? It was 13. I don't know, but I, I don't know. I know we had 33. Pretty mid game. Anyways. Uh, I went to the Kings Pistons game over Thanksgiving break, and it was awesome. Everyone went crazy. Who won that game? Kings. It was like their fifth game in a row. Um, I don't remember. I want to say maybe 2018. I went to the Dodgers game. 2018 Dodgers game? Yeah. Oh, okay. How was that? It was pretty good. My dad got us like front row seats behind the plate, so it was really cool. Oh, wow. Last sporting event, I think it was in 2019 or 2020 during the pandemic. I went to a Giants game. Uh, yeah, I went with my brother. It was pretty dope. Got some nice seats. The arena wasn't too full, so that was pretty cool to hear. You know, yeah. you, you could hear only the players talking. It was actually a pretty cool experience. I actually went last Sunday to the Niners game when we played the Dolphins. You know, Brock Purdy, Mr. Irrelevant, had to step in and, you know, replace Derek Carr, basically. Derek Carr? What are you talking about? <laughs> you don't even know your own team? The trashiest quarterback ever. I'm just throwing a little, I'm just throwing a little shade. So you're saying, bro, 49ers suck. Derek Carr, bum. Raiders, bum. Josh Jacobs, he's him. Thank you. Wrestle. Do you play any sports? Yes, I wrestle. No, you don't. I don't. <laughs> tell, tell, talk to me about wrestling. How is it? Uh, it's fun. It's hard, but it's fun. You know, gets you in shape. Talk about, like, a match. When was the last game you had? 
or uh, fight or whatever that's match. Our yeah. team just came back from Nebraska and I think Nevada. Yeah, I play soccer. You do? Yeah. Oh, we got the kids down there. Are you about to play? Uh, yeah, I'm going to go just practice. Just one friend. Just oh, like okay. touch the ball around. Okay. Uh, usually I play basketball. I like to play with my friends. Um, I like to, you know, warm up, do shooting drills, dribbling, all that fun stuff. You Have you ever been to Mashouf Wellness Center? Uh, say it one more time. Mashouf Wellness Center, the gym, the school gym? Oh, yeah, I go all the time. That's usually where I play. I usually work in my game, my craft, and all that. So. Heck, yeah. That's what I like to hear. Uh, I think I dodged you in basketball a couple times a week. Um, that's about it, though. I do that on my free time. You what? I do that on my free time. You what? You know what? I didn't hear you. Sorry. You heard me. So what you can do is you can like go back and replay the clip, and then I'm sure he can hear the audio. So you could probably hear the audio too. Now I only have to repeat myself. <laughs> you know you're not good, right? And that's it on a uh, street talk. So uh, let's say we'll see you next week. Back to you in the studio. Welcome back. Today I have the great honor of interviewing one of our players from the men's basketball team. Today I'm chatting with a guest who's had many accomplished accomplishments in this field. So ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Bryson Ryan. Hey, how you doing, Adam? Thanks so much for having me. Well, we love to have you, Bryson. Thanks for coming out today. So why don't we just start off with, you know, telling us a bit about yourself, where you're from, and how long you've been playing basketball for. Well, this is my uh, second year here at SF State, or third year if you want to count the COVID year. Um, I'm a transfer student. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a senior here. I started playing basketball fifth grade. Um, I, I remember my brother was on a travel team that played year-round, uh, and he was a few years older than me, and his program was starting up a younger team for my age group, and he was just like, yeah, why don't you come try it out a little bit, and I uh, haven't stopped playing since. Here we are today, right? Here we are. <laughs> so, you know, you're from Stockton, so what made you choose San Francisco State as your school to play basketball at? Um, it was actually... A pretty easy decision, if I'm going to be completely honest with you. Uh, I went the, I played throughout my high school career and then went the junior college route. Uh, played a few years over there in Monterey Peninsula. And it came down to two colleges to where I transferred to uh, here at SF State or uh, Sacramento State. Uh, and I ended up just choosing SF, not because it's a great program, uh, great coaching staff, but actually the Becca department here at SF State. I'm a, I'm a Becca major myself, so. Um, it was a pretty easy decision for me. Really? Well, the two definitely uh, go hand in hand with each other now, don't they? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> so, you know, being on the basketball team, you know, this season, how many games are you in so far? Uh, we've had a couple expedition games uh, that don't count towards our record. Uh, but all, our overall record right now, we're 4-2. Uh, and two. So we have six games of the season so far. And uh, actually, this uh, Thursday coming up, we have our first conference game. It's here at home against San Bernardino. Very nice. That's, that's exciting. So it's shaping up to be a pretty good season for you, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Very good. I'm really liking our team this year. Um, we have a lot of good guys, a lot of smart players, a lot of uh, talent on the team. And on top of that, we have a lot of hard workers, too. Hey, that's, that's all you can ask for, isn't it? And, yeah. Very nice. Well, that's great that you have that outlet here. You know, you get to focus on your passion of playing basketball with the addition of, you know, being in the Becca program, learning production, and kind of mm -hmm. learning the backstage, you know, aspects of what it is that you love to do. Absolutely, the ins and outs. Absolutely. Uh, the talent-wise and then the behind the camera and everything like that. It's a lot of fun. Exactly. Well, that's, that's really great to hear. And, you know, I can't play basketball if, you know, my life depended on it, but I did have the opportunity to play with Bryson. <laughs> uh, you weren't so bad. Don't be so hard on yourself. You know, we'll let the audience find that out. <laughs> we'll, we'll let you speak for yourselves. So, you know, why don't we flip back over to that footage to give you guys a little scoop on that. Hello, this is Adam Blanchard here at Mashoop Wellness Center, and I will be playing or shooting some hoops here with Bryson. Shall we do this, Bryson? Let's get to it. Let's hope. <laughs>
was my attempt at trying some basketball. I think we all know how it went, so how about we just get back to the studio, right, Bryson? Sounds good to me. So Bryson, I do have to admit that was pretty fun. So thank you for taking that time with me. I appreciate it. Absolutely, that. I enjoyed it. It was fun. So you know, going back to your experience on the basketball team at SF State, um, you know, how does you and your team manage to stay fit and healthy physically and both mentally throughout the season? Um, it's actually pretty. Uh, it's a challenge. I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, it's. I mean, we stay physically active throughout uh, the year. Obviously we had weights and we had conditioning and things like that, but we also take some time uh, to recover because that's almost as important. Um, so we do a lot of stretching and um, recovery workouts and things like that. But I like how you also mentioned the, the mental aspect of it too, because it's a long season, it's a long year. And uh, that goes for just, you know, students. You know what yeah. I mean? So um, throwing basketball in there and just adding that schedule and um, demanding your body out of that, it takes a mental toll on you. Mm -hmm. So uh, our coach is actually uh, active about making sure we take care of ourselves that way. And um, I remember during the COVID year especially, he had a uh, mental health coach come in and walk us through some Zoom meetings about different techniques and things we can do to help with our mental health, where, whether it was meditation or just breathing techniques and things like that. So we actually, can, our, our coaching staff does a great job of taking all that into consideration and making sure we're all um, in the best shape that we can be. Absolutely. Well, and I think that's something new important, yeah, that's important to know for all students. You know, I, SF State in general has great um, resources for mental health and even physical well-being. So that's something to definitely look into. As you said, all students, we all have our stressors and Absolutely. we all have, you know. Finals week coming up too. It's, exactly. It's, it's <laughs> I'm a busy time. In my seat here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So you know, it sounds like you're on a really great track, and you know, I'd, I'd like to kind of know what other achievements have you accomplished within basketball? You know, it seems like you've worked really hard at it. Is there anything that you want to brag about? <laughs> oh no, I'm uh, I'm not too much on the bragging aspect. Uh, I wasn't raised that way. I was always raised of let your game do your talking type of thing. Um, I've, I've been very fortunate in my career, uh, mm -hmm. both high school and my JC level, and even here, where um, it's just, I'm having a lot of fun what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. And I'm meeting a lot of people that I know I'm gonna have good relations with in the future, and I'm making good connections, and just really enjoying my time. So that's probably the biggest accomplishment I think I can say. Well, Bryson, thank you so much again for this interview and teaching me a thing or two about <laughs> basketball. I really appreciate that. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Of course, of course. And, you know, we definitely are wishing your team the best of luck with this upcoming season. So I think with that being said, can I get a let's go Gators? Let's, let's go, go Gators! USA, 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 hey, USA. Hey, am I on time? Dude, right on time. Get your butt in the seat right now. All right, drink. I got our chips. Hell yeah. Let's watch the World Cup. Breaking news from Andres F. A dangerous criminal escaped from the mental hospital. The police are looking for him. Be aware and do not open the doors to anyone. Bruh. Don't worry though. I think we'll be all right. I think that's the pizza guy. Could you get the door? World Cup. Yo. Hey, bud. What's up, man? Did you get the pizza? Yo, yo, who the hell are you? The the criminal, the the one that they're talking about on television. Bro, just take it easy, man. What what do you want? Listen, guys, I'm not gonna hurt you or anything. You know, I just uh. I'm gonna wait here for a while while everything blows over. Could use the favor. I'm, I'm kind of like your new roommate. New roommate? Yeah. What did you do? Don't, don't, don't make him angry. You expecting someone? Yeah, the pizza I ordered. All right, well, you better answer it. Just be careful. I'm crazy. Hey, man, thanks. Come on. What do you. 
Why don't you uh, hey. grab me another beer, too? Pizza, a couple of beers. I got my new friends. Come on, let's watch the World Cup. I don't know. Breaking news that. from Under SF. Minutes ago, thanks to the Under SF Police Department, the dangerous criminal was arrested. No more concerns for residents under SF. Enjoy the World Cup. Wait, what the hell? Who the hell are you? Listen, my name's Christian. I'm your neighbor, a few doors down. My TV broke. I, I, you know, I had to watch the World Cup. You guys gotta get it, right? Get the hell out! Yo, my pizza! Bruh, he took the ranch with him too. Hey, we got any beards left? Just one, one. I'll take it. Cheers, man. Cheers. Watch the World Cup. Hello, welcome back to Street Talk. I'm at the Mashoof Wellness Center. I'm about to interview some of you guys, and let's check it out. Whoa, look at this wall. That's crazy. Is that Christian? Christian! Hey, what's up? Uh, you mind taking my advice to hit the gym? Yeah, I, I did hit the gym and I got some gains. Hey, I'm just a, kind of tired, jeez. That's the point of working out, man. How about this? Instead of working out, why don't you hit the wall? Sure, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Alright then, let's go. Well, friends, we are at the end of our show. We hope you enjoyed this episode of Under SF Today. Remember to follow us on Instagram and your YouTube channel. Next week, we will have our grand finale of Under SF Season 15. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week. Reporting live from the SF the Bay where we stay and you know what we best at Marcus Hall Studio One, that's the best set Number one show in the game, at your best bet We giving y'all quality, y'all better trust that It's for us, by us, students make an impact Run by the pit, man, you better tune in Yeah, we got their minds lifted, oh so gifted Serving greatness, the city reverberates this Communicate through the screens and the ways Can we broadcast and put the B up and Becca for
radio shows podcast we the mecca check up hit that one two from the mic check now it's time to go live don't know what you might get i know that you like this the content is priceless and after this song i just know that i made a fan and let me give a shout out to jada jans for all these young artists yeah you gave a chance let's jam out to the music get you in the mood quick on the sf debate yeah let's do this